ready to play Raid Shadow Legends. Just kidding, guys. Okay, so uh, a lot of things going on. One of my eBay packages came in. It was my, my Walmart package. I honestly don't know. I didn't check my phone yet. I just checked the mail as soon as I came home from work. And then also while I was going through my cards as I'm preparing to gather things uh, things up and I for, you know continue to top load things and get them more protected and ready for um, mailing out as I sell them, I came across something kind of funny. I've always had, I've had this card for a really long time. I got it from a friend and I noticed when I, you know, I didn't notice it for a long time because the card sat in um, a binder with the sleeve holders and you can see it now. It's, it's way shinier than it should be that gleam, that light. And I was like, okay, that's kind of funny. I was pulling out, preparing to put it in a top loader um, to repair to sell this card. And then it dawned on me. I'm like, well, something doesn't quite seem right. The printing seems a little different. The color seems a little bit different. And it really is a shame. Um, so I, I went ahead and flipped it to the back, which is usually a giveaway uh, for when you're trying to find things out. So let me pull another Japanese card out with that. Uh, we'll show what the issue is exactly. Um, so we'll just grab this one right here. And maybe you'll be able to see it. Uh, maybe you won't. It's a little difficult. Uh, notice how the ball isn't quite right. The text that encircles the ball isn't quite right. Uh, the card is even just slightly narrower than a normal card. So, yeah, this... Missy's Gyarados sadly is a fake. It's not in 100% condition anyways, um, but the Hall of Foil was really nice. I've had this card for years. I'm really glad I never screwed anyone with trying to sell it or trade it. Um, and it's funny too, I remember my buddies really wanting this card because this is just one awesome looking Gyarados and that Hall of Foil is, is, you know, really well. But yeah, no, this card... Is 100% a Japanese fake, and it was kind of funny though. Cause it, it actually was once I pulled it out of the sleeve, it was kind of easy to spot, which was good. Um, there's not even a, I didn't even notice this. There's not even a copyright like wording on the bottom of this one. Um, so when you run into this, especially when you're going through your old collection, or even if you get scammed and buy some fake cards, my biggest suggestion. You know, you don't want to be a dick and sell them unless you deliberately say this is a fake card, like multiple times in your description. Uh, don't be selling the people who are on like Etsy. Um, I know, yes, Etsy sells Pokemon cards and even some other places, eBay, Mersarni, Mersar, Mersarni, they will sell a card. They'll call it a proxy card or a fake card, but they only say it once. And sometimes they don't even put it in the title. They put it in the description as they usually make proxies of high-end cards like Charizard holographic base set and they keep it just low-key enough they don't make it first edition they make you think you're getting a steal from someone who doesn't know oh I'm paying 20 bucks for this Charizard hollow and um that card those cards as far as I'm aware are made 100% to look real um but they're proxy cards this one was meant to look real I presume since it's a fake card but it didn't quite pass the test. And so when you get fake cards, whether you buy them from someone or you had them in your collection already and you were about to sell it, but you're also like me, you're planning on buying more cards to resell cards, hold on to them. Um, this one probably isn't going to be anything I come by ever again. This one really isn't a good fake compared to some of the other fakes that are out there. But you really shouldn't resell them. You should hold on to them. One, because they're still nice little pieces of art. I mean, this is still how this card looks generally. So, I mean, I'm not really a card collector anymore, but this might stay as part of my collection. But the other reason why you need to hold on to it is so you can use it to verify against other fakes in the future. So, it's really not worth anything to try and sell. I mean, if I tried to sell this, it'd probably be worth, I guess, 10 cents, which no one's going to pay shipping for it. So, I'm not going to get any shipping for it so i'd lose a ton of money if i sold it plus you know if someone bought it and they didn't read that i put it's a fake card 10 times in the description and the title they will probably just i don't know still get mad at me and give me a negative review saying i sold them a fake card so it's not even worth the risk even if you put it throughout all your description and title that this is a fake card um buy it you know knowing it's a fake card 
So, uh, yeah, that's what you should do when you get fake cards. That's not the only thing to this video. And, you know, there's just some other obvious things, like the bordering is massive on this one compared to an uh, authentic card. Um, just things aren't the right size. Uh, I don't know if this is always a factor. I think maybe just Mr. Jared's name actually is that large in Japanese, so I wouldn't use that as a factor. But, you know, the main giveaway was the card isn't even regulation card size. So that's just one little tidbit on what to do with fake cards if you get them. Now, as I said, I don't even know, oh, right, these two things here. If you're new to the channel or if you haven't watching the channel, these two original Chansey Pokemon coins are a giveaway. When I still, I say every time I show them, I love the hollow foil on these. I did look at one of my original base set Chansey cards. The hollow foil is very similar, but this one still has a bit more to it, a bit more shapes, a bit more color to the hollow foil. And then this, this really is, these are some, I mean, they're not in great, they're not in 100%, they're not like in mint condition. I don't even think they're even near mint. They're definitely played. I used them as a kid, um, but they're still, you know, they're not, they don't, they're not torn in half. All the stuff is still on them, like encircling them. So um, they're giveaways though, they're free. As long as you're subscribed to the channel and you like these videos, um, these are both going to one lucky winner. Today, we're going to pick a winner. Um, no offense to them, I like them, but hopefully it's not vintage uh, Pokemon Hunter Bros, because it's last I checked, he was the last person to be subscribed to me who is um, publicly subscribed. He's the only person. So last time he won the Vile Plume coin, and that was five ten dollars Each one of these is five ten dollars so if he wins both, it's a $10 to $20 giveaway. Um, not to shoot him down, but like and subscribe to these videos, this channel, so that way you can get these coins. Um, it, but I'm not going to take him out of the drawing. If he still gets, if his name still gets pulled, he still wins. But, um, and also you should go check out his channel. Uh, he at least shows his face, uh, and, uh, he also is really into Pokemon and pulls some cards. And he's also got a charity going on for COVID-19 right now. So yeah, hit him up and, uh, watch his channel too. So as I said, I don't even know if this package is from my Walmart package or my eBay package. I will definitely know when I pull it out. Um, I don't think it's my Walmart package. So my Walmart package is supposed to be a random 100 lot of cards. And this seems a little too thin, but also maybe just the right amount of thickness. So for me and you, this is genuinely, we're both finding out what this is. Um, the reason why I don't know Oh, I think it's the Walmart package. Definitely think it's the Walmart package because this is the only one that I ordered in cards of this quantity. So this must be the Walmart package of 100 random cards. And yep, it is the Walmart package of 100 random cards. Now, I do still have some eBay stuff coming in. Um, if I do a second video, it will definitely... Um, probably be tonight, if not tomorrow. And I don't do these videos, you know, back to back to back just for the heck of it. I do them because I come home, pull my mail from work, do a video, and then sometimes the mail also comes later all the way up to 8 p.m. Um, and sometimes it doesn't. So if I do a second video tonight, it's not just because I decided to do a second video tonight. It's because I didn't have the stuff until later tonight. So... This is my 100 uh, random Walmart cards. Uh, it's literally what's called on walmart.com. Why did I purchase these? Um, one, to do a test. And two, because if you go above a certain amount, like 35 bucks on Walmart, it's free shipping. And I was buying a Detective Pikachu 10 um, that has the chance to win that TC, uh, PSA Charizard. Um, and it was only like 20 bucks. So for seven, it was like, for 10 more dollars, I got free shipping. And so it was like 12 more bucks to add a 100 random lock card and an 18 random lock card. Um, sadly, in my opinion, if you saw my video, my video earlier, I don't think, I don't really believe that my 18 random lock card pull was very good from Walmart. And I also did a video for random lock pulls for 300 cards from eBay. And I don't think those pulls were very good. And I don't know if it's my luck, but to do a 300 lot random pull, 
and to not get one good pull, I mean, not even one good pull, uh, I'm very disappointed. Um, to be honest, th their wording, I guess, is true, but it is a little bit deceiving. I didn't go back and check to see if there was a comma in between, but it, you know, it mentions, at least in that eBay, you know, guaranteed to at least pull uh, a rare or hollow, uh, I don't know if it even said or. I think it said rare hollow. I don't know if it had a comma or a or in between or not. Um, to what I could tell that eBay seller, all they're doing is probably buying these, we'll find out, or at least charge from other people. <sighs> Pulling out any rare hollows from those lots and just keeping in these reverse hollow, commons, uncommon, stuff like that, so that way they can keep in their description that you're getting a hollow guaranteed these cards that are worth maybe a buck at best if you can find the right person to buy them and they're not going to pay for shipping so it's going to have to be an in-person sale to get that buck and they're throwing them in with the commons and uncommons that were left from the booster packs they pulled and they're keeping the rares and hollows and selling them separately at some other place and then telling you you have a chance to get one of those now i didn't get i did get rares but I never got any rare hollows. I never pulled any first editions. And I didn't pull, yeah, I didn't pull any hollow rares. So I get it. It's supposed to be random. And it's random to me. It's random to the person buying it. But it's not random because it's random. It, it, it's only random because I, I didn't know what I was getting. It's not random to the person sending it your way. And in my opinion, my my honest opinion is if you're going to say you're sending out random lots you take your cards and you shuffle them bad boys up and you build however many lots out of them. you don't look at what you're sending you do you do you do lots by however you want 10 cards 100 cards 50 cards you pull them or maybe you have someone in your family who doesn't know the value of any of the cards, and you tell them, hey, give me a card that card that has a star on it. Give me a card that has a star that's got shiny on it for, you know, hollow. Give me, you know, cards that have, give me five cards that have dots on them, and give me four cards that have diamonds on them. You know, people who don't know the value of any of the cards, you just have them, hand them to you, and you mail them out. I do not think it is very um, good business at all. I'm not buying from that person ever again to pull out all the valuable cards that could have possibly been in there. And I know it's random and I could have, I could have had bad pulls throughout the cards, but guys understand it was 300 cards. The odds of not pulling one hollow rare is so low if it was actually random. So that's what I'm getting at um be careful of who you buy from but sorry to keep rambling on this is my 100 lot pull um random from walmart and uh without further ado let's see how this bad boy goes so these don't look like they're played they look like they're brand new sealed cards um i don't know quite how they decide um wow they didn't leave an opening on this bad boy i don't think oh wait nope found it found it i don't know how they decide. I don't know if this is a third party. I think it is a third party just selling through Walmart. So starting off, we have a uh, Reverse Hollow Crow Grunt. Never heard of him. Ooh, Reverse Hollow Folletta. So far, I'm not too bad. Not too mad. Uh, it's no rares. Uh, but hey, three. Oh, wow. More. Wow. Okay. So this has been a very rewarding um, pull so far. Okay. So that's one, two, three four five six seven reverse hollow foils off the top and uh yeah none of them rare but still i'm happy with that start um a crow gunk not reverse hollow foil uh a swarope i'm sorry my camera is really fighting with my lighting i will have to eventually upgrade my lighting uh, maybe if i get just the right there we go so I'm not going to read them off to you. You can kind of see them. Uh, you know, it's not bad artwork. Uh, people talk about the base set artwork. And I get it. They're vintage Pokemon cards. Um, they're 20 plus years old. But 
Base set artwork really, that's a new artwork. Base set artwork really isn't good artwork. You're buying base set for the nostalgia of it. And um, if base set would have been more like this, I think this is really actually um, what the artwork should have been for base set. But uh, base set was kind of more shooting for what the Pokemon looked like in the show at the time. So there's that nostalgia behind, you know, them looking like the show. And there's the nostalgia of that's just what they were back in the day. So, um, yeah, so... Oh, no rares yet as far as I've seen I'm trying to look at the symbols while I show y'all um that's interesting a salad dent. I, I mean once again as I've explained I'm from the vintage Pokemon era um I am very new to the new Pokemon uh if that sentence makes sense um so yeah, ooh, is this guy I know rares aren't always um the things worth money anymore so yeah if you're listening to me too for the first time I do sound like um, I am in it for just the money, and for the most part, I am. But I've also, you know, I got videos teaching people uh, how to make money. I mean, that's a neat, that's a really cool um, trainer. Um, yeah, and it, it's um, more of an oldish look, but it's it's one of the newer cards. It's kind of strange. Just here's a more modern trainer right here. I guess maybe this is a trainer item or something. I don't know. Um, oof, I'm happy with the beginning of it, but I'm not really happy about the end. So, I mean, out of 50 cards, I think I said, what, six, seven hollow, uh, reverse hollows? But none of them rares. Uh, so now we're doing the other pack of 50. Um, man, it really seems, I mean, these cards don't look like they're played with at all. They look like they're all brand new cards. But that's, um, oh, but that's insane that, uh... Not one single rare yet out of a hundred, well, out of 50 cards. So now we're going into the, uh, we're moving into the other 50, getting the, some repeats. Um, man, that's more repeats than I wanted. That's kind of, uh, upsetting for how many Pokemon there are in the Pokemon, like, universe right now. And I'm not getting any rares, and some of these, a lot of these have been repeats. That's... That's, um, man, that's, this is the other 50. Am I only getting six to seven reverse hollow foils out of 100 cards and none of them rares? I mean, none of the cards, that's crazy. Electabuzz isn't a rare anymore. I grew up where Electabuzz was rare. Wow, that's crazy. So, <laughs> Growlithe, which is a base one Pokemon, has 80 hit points, and Electabuzz has 80 hit points. Um, Growlithe's highest attack is, is the equivalent of Electabuzz's lowest attack, but still, uh, they're both commons. Uh, I know rarity isn't always a determining factor for how strong a Pokemon is. I'm completely aware of that. I was not a Pokemon for, like, ten years. Uh, I still enjoy looking at them. I just don't have a real reason to keep them in my house besides to buy them and sell them. Wow, am I really not going to get one single rare out of 100 cards? Wow. So, Lean Heart has done similar videos on buying Pokemon cards from Walmart. And he pretty much has only got bad pulls from Walmart. And I wonder if it's because of... Wow, well, that is it. So I wonder if it is simply because no rares out of 100 cards. Brand new cards, by the way, at least from what I can tell. But they don't come in, like, actual sealed Pokemon packs. They come in these, these. So they, unless they go through the Pokemon factory and are just randomly put in here real quick, or if someone has delicately opened a whole bunch of packs, once again... Hold out all the cards worth anything, playability, collectability, anything, and then stuff the ones that aren't worth anything back in here, really nicely packaged and sealed them, and then sold you basically expensive paper, this, this garbage. Um, I am never buying cards of random lots from Walmart ever again. Um, 
Not saying I'm not going to buy their theme decks or their booster packs, but I'm 100% after doing this twice, one of an 18 random lot card pull and one of a 100 random lot card pull and not receiving a single rare out of 118 cards in total, am I ever doing this again? So I would rather get a whole pile of fake hollow rares of different of different fakes so that way i can use them to identify fakes in the future than to ever ever just go through a hundred cards of trash i mean that's insane to me paid a, i didn't pay a huge amount it wasn't a huge money at, at all for this thank god but that's just some typical walmart bs um i know i'm just ranting but i you know you're here for my information, my opinion, and learning from my mistakes. I would not suggest buying uh, random lot pulls from Walmart uh, ever. I do still feel fine with buying random card lot pulls from eBay. I just want to go big like I did where I bought three 100 random lots from the same person. I would buy a random lot from different sellers and see which one seems to give you the best odds. Um... Don't be discouraged uh, if you happen to buy from one person uh, just once and one small lot. If you buy a, a 100 card lot from someone, especially if they end up charging a decent amount for that 100 card lot, uh, then I'd stay away from them if you didn't pull anything. If you're not pulling anything out of a 100 card lot, that's kind of sad. If you're, if you're having that, you might as well just go buy booster packs from the store um, one, to either keep them sealed and sell them 20 years later for a massive profit, or two, to open them and find rares and hollows, or hollow rares, or really good rare pulls, like uh, whatever's going out right now, usually something to do with Charizard. You aren't probably going to get that from your random 100 lot pull off eBay or Walmart. Um, I mean, we've just verified I've gotten zero rares. Zero rares from 118 cards, two separate lot pulls, from Walmart but hey guys so this video went a little long um, as I said we're doing this giveaway tonight I'm probably gonna do one more video just talking about the giveaway on these coins and then we're going to do um, we're going to decide who wins them if my boy uh, the vintage Pokemon Hunter bro wins them he wins them I'll mail them to him again he'll get three whole coins from me so far uh, but remember, if you do subscribe and like, you have to be on public view. I can't see who you are if you don't have your subscription set to public view. But hey, I hope we all learned something from here about buying from Walmart, at least with random lock card pulls. And uh, just pay attention to my other videos. There are going to be some um, eBay, some more eBay poll videos. Um, not random lots, though. Um, but it's going to be about the condition that the cards come in. So... Yeah, and I have another uh, video about what other card you should buy if you are buying and selling. So keep your eyes open. Thanks. Bye.